Well, good morning, and welcome to the Demo Zone, where we try out game demos to see if they might be worth buying and playing. And today, courtesy of Larkit, we are looking at the pre-alpha demo for the game Allah, which says, survive on floating islands caught in an eternal hurricane in this atmospheric sandbox survival indie game. Build your base and sail the winds to discover new islands and fight back fungi corruption while upgrading your gear. Reach the highest altitudes and brave their challenges. This is by Astrolabe Interactive. And I do think it currently, oh, it does. The release date is sometime in 2024. So we are going to take a look at it. I have taken a look at it already a little bit. You can see I've created a character, but we're going to, uh, let's see. I'm wondering if we can't, we can take a quick look at the character creator. So we do not have the ability to change backgrounds. We can randomize, as you can see. Some funny randomizations there. Ah, so we have a female now. So yes, you do have your choice of male or female bodies in three different types for each. You have kind of a skinny, uh, a more tone and fit, and a chubbier body. And this is the same for the male bodies. You have a choice of skin colors from a, an extremely dark brown all the way up to very pale. You have the choice of eight face shapes. To be honest, not all of them look good on a female. That one's okay. That one's not bad. That one, I think that's the one I chose for the character I made. Different eye colors. So you have yellows, reds, blues, violet, grays, all the colors you would generally expect. You have various hairstyles, and you actually have quite a decent selection of those. So you could do something like that. It's actually kind of nice. You've got different dreadlocks, braids, ponytail. And base set of hair colors. Of course, for the male characters, you have your variety of beards and mustaches. <laughs> That's almost a dwarven beard. Yeah, that would be a very good dwarven beard. And tattoos will be coming. All right, so. Yes, because we already have a character. And her name is Bella. So we already have a world, but let's go ahead and start a new map so we can see what uh, the beginning looks like. We're going to call it Bella 2. Now, like I said, it's a pre-alpha demo. And right off the bat, I really do like the graphics. Very nice for a low-poly game. Very colorful, bright. 
almost cheerful considering. Now, of course, it's not giving me any tips, but you start out with some tips. It starts out by saying to gather some wood, which I'll just go ahead and do that. And you can gather wood off of these. You also want to gather some stone, which we need to find little bits of stone to gather, which I don't think you see any of that in here. You have a sprint. usual left shift to sprint. We'll come out here. And here's our stone we need to gather. And this glowing stone would be your first lesson, which is not what I was expecting. So in the, uh, if I was starting out with a brand new character, that first lesson would have been the workbench. But I just learned a, a new recipe. Unintentionally, I just learned the helm recipe. So that's something I did not know about the game. Might be something I want to look at because People could just start new worlds over and over again and easily learn new recipes without traveling too far. But you would gather some stuff. And your next lesson would be to, of course, make your workbench. And it does take you through your lesson step by step. Always a good thing. Now I should not have any of my stuff in here. I don't. But I usually set up shop in this area here. We'll go ahead and grab some more stone. And I will start setting up so you can see how this works. All right, so B is build. And we want to start with the workbench. Okay, so E and Q rotate. I'm going to put the workbench a little closer to here. All right, so we have our workbench. Next step would be to make our tools. And you have, uh, you have to learn recipes. So you would take your materials. And actually, I think that's under C. Yeah, you take your materials. And it would tell you what you can, or it would say unknown recipe. And you would use them. And you would learn, like, sharp stone. Stone hammer. So let's craft a couple of short stone. And with that, you make a stone axe. So you learn these things as you go along. Kind of reminds me of that, what, Doodle God? Where you mix elements and in hopes of learning a new element. Of course, we do already have these tools, so let's go ahead and break some stone. 
Now, I have to admit, one of the things I'm not overly fond of in the game is the mini game for crafting and gathering. It's, um, how do I put this? Not very fun. And we'll go ahead. No, actually, we're going to leave that one. All right, so we can put that away. And as you can see, we have a cave here. Now, go through. There's some water here. It is not clean water, so it's not drinkable water. You go up this way, gather some more stone. And always good to explore. Oh, I kind of got myself stuck. I definitely don't want to go that way. Let me look around. It does seem to be slightly different from the other world. The intro area always does seem to be the same. But the island itself seems to change slightly. Yeah, you can look out and see all these other... Wow. I'm kind of liking this map better than the one I was on. Look at all those islands. You see the nice green ones are good healthy islands like this one, but that one over there that looks like it's got some sort of red and blue stuff on it, that is an infected island. Yeah, I'm honestly really liking this one better. Huh. And the other one wasn't that bad either. Yeah, it's got a nice little setup going over there. We'll go take a look at it in a little bit. Is that another island over there, or is that part of mine? I think that's part of mine. But as you can see, your starter island is not super tiny. Actually, you have a decent amount of stuff on it. Now that spot, the only way you're going to get up there, I think, is fly. And at some point, you would learn how to make a glider recipe, which you actually learn how to make pretty early on. And let me tell you, out of everything I love about this game, the gliding is going to be the biggest challenge. So, yeah. I thought I'd give you a warning now. So, yeah. You have a second stone. And, and I just learned how to make a rudder. But in the other world, I cannot remember what you learned how to make there next. Oh, the sawmill. So let's say I learned how to make the sawmill. Let's say I know where I'm at. Because <laughs> I have no clue. Yeah, I'm really liking this very nice looking island. 
Well, I may have to move my base operations over here. Okay, we found our way back. Okay, here's our crafting station. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we want build. Go ahead and make our sawmill now. And with that, you would make some planks. We'll put that there. Now, something I do really like is the storage. So we go over here. You can see we have specific storages for specific materials, which means you can see at a glance what's what and how much of things you have. You go ahead and put that there. That's for leaves. Put the log one here. Okay. We have one for stone. Put the stone behind the logs, I think. Okay, fabric, fabric has its own, we'll put it like that, I'm trying to put them, you do not have all the resources, okay, so we're missing resources to make that. which means we need to go over here to the workbench and we need to craft fabric. And that is made with three what are these leaves. All right. And you can see it's gotten dark pretty quick. Now we should be able to make that. Of course, now I can barely see what I'm doing. Now we are missing one, but let's go ahead and come in here. And I want to set up a bed. So that is under, nope, where is it? Not there, these are building, building part. Now, I'm not quite figured out building in this. Ah, here's our bed. I wanna put the bed We'll put it right about there. And then we're going to hit hold E to set home. It says this island is already your home. Hit E to sleep. And there are two buffs. There's a well rested buff, but if you wait a couple seconds longer, you also get an at peace buff. All right, so up we go. Oh, that's the escape key. That's just our inventory. There we go, it's nice and light out again. Now we need to make the last 
storage, which is for planks. And we don't have enough wood, so we need to go grab some more wood. And, of course, you can pick the sticks off the bigger trees. You can gather the smaller trees or, or bushy things. I guess they're saplings. Or, you, of course, you can chop down a tree. And there we go. And then you have to chop the logs that fall to get your wood. Grab that while I'm here. I was going to say, wasn't there some more? So yeah, you have a couple different ways you can gather wood. Always good to have options. And we should have enough. So here's our sawmill. And we are going to make some plank. Now you can either just sit here and wait forever, or you can play their mini game. And then you have to hit F within the white area and it advances. And the more you do it right, the faster it gets. So I don't know who decided this was fun, but they need to go to the dictionary and look up the definition of fun. Because this is actually very tedious. And of course, if you get it wrong, it's, it just resets and starts over. All right, so let's go ahead and put that away. We'll go ahead and put this little bit of wood away. We'll go ahead and put, um, thank you. We'll put this not so little bit of stone away. Uh, or one lone bit of fabric. And over here, Watch me not have everything I need for it now. Oh, I do if I would pull it out of the sawmill. Okay. We'll put our Back of lumber right there. Put that away. Now, another form of storage you can make is these leaf baskets, which we will require a lot more fabric for, which means gathering a lot more leaves. So let's go do a little gathering. You will need the fabric to make <coughs> the glider as well as baskets and other things, I'm sure. And as you can see, it's raining. And very windy. So far, I haven't blown away yet. I don't know if that's a thing. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a thing. You are circling a hurricane, essentially. I think we can find a good vantage point.
Whoa. Yeah. Let's not do that. Let's not die. Okay. Oh, and another thing. You want to look, keep an eye out for things like these tomatoes. Because, of course, having food is good. And gathering the saplings will get you a decent amount of leaves. Oh, of course, we're surrounded by trees, so this is not a very good vantage point. Oh, maybe we should eat something over here. Go ahead and eat that. A red and acidic fruit. So I guess that increases your maximum amount of XP. I'm guessing it works kind of like in Valheim. Where the fuller you are the more hit points you have. They don't provide much, I noticed, but food is food. It's something. Honestly though, I don't know if I'd want to live on nothing but tomatoes. My stomach would hate me for it. Oh, we have a lot of tomatoes here. All right, so it's pretty stormy now. Like I said, I'm surprised we don't just like, I don't know, float away. Oh yeah, and like I said, it might be a thing. And it looks like it's get a pretty hard rain. We might want to get out of it somehow. So, okay, good. Weather really does have an effect. I will grab those. Oh, this isn't our... Well, this isn't our uh, little grotto, but at least it got us out of the weather for a minute. All right, we'll stay here. This we won't be wet. I'm not sure exactly how long storms last for. Does seem to be a few minutes. Yeah, I know I'm wet. I'm heading back to my house. I'm not gonna wait here. Huh, butterfly. Hopefully that's a butterfly. Something else. Hopefully it's not something coming from that corrupted island over there. Yeah, here. I can see that we're in the storm right now. I'm 
probably want to get back to the house. Although I do think the storm is settling. Excuse me, I'll gather you and you and you and you. I'll just gather all the things on the way by. Put that stone away. Put the wood away. Put some of this away. And the rest of it will come over here and make a bunch of fabric. Oh, that's right. I can put all of it away if I want. Because I keep forgetting this is a thing you can craft from containers. Luckily, this does not have the mini game that uh, the other. Stuff has. You just make it. Come on, one more. Thank you. But, okay, I didn't have to put anything back. Good. Now, go ahead and make one of these leaf baskets. Now you have your choice. And not remember. Ah, that's right. You hit the one, two, one or three key to rotate through the different options. So you have this little one here. You have kind of a medium sized one, or you have this nice big one. I like to put the big one down. Although I might go ahead and put the medium one next to it, just for decoration. And that has eight, so they have the same amount of space. And we're gonna go ahead and put our flint and this, uh, I cannot remember what it's called. I can't remember what it's called, but we're going to put it in there. And it's sunny out again. So yeah, I like using this spot here just to start out. Because you don't have to build anything. But you have this nice, almost secluded grotto. And you got plenty of room for the basic. And kind of a nice central location for exploring, too. At least I think so. I'm assuming that these flowers can be gathered at some point. I'm guessing some sort of a sickle. It's still pretty windy. Definitely, I don't think you want to go out gliding in this. At least not until the wind settles down. So yeah, that's pretty much, I think, stone, wood, leaf fibers, tomatoes. I think that's all you find on the first island into recipe stunt. But it does give you a start 
and it gives you the most important thing, which is, of course, the glider, which you'll need to get to other islands and explore them. I have not yet been to one of these mushroom islands. All I know is that they're infected, and there are monsters that you're going to have to kill to uninfect them. I think I've only been to one other island so far. But like I said, that gliding part is going to be tricky. I've already had to uninvert the controls because, let's be honest, not everybody can remember that down is up and up is down. When I do controls, I want my up to be up and down to be down, but this is more like, I don't know what they call them, airplane controls in games, where it's the exact opposite. I'm assuming all these flashing lights are other islands. Oh, and you can see the hurricane from here now. There it is. I don't know if that's supposed to be the eye of the hurricane. It's big, whatever it is. Now, something I did find to be an interesting choice is that in order to do screenshot mode, you have to escape out of the game, go to photo mode. Now you have the ability to manipulate what you see. You can move the camera. You can change the altitude with control and space accelerate, zoom in and out. And then when you have things exactly how you like it, you hit F. And it takes a screenshot, but it also opens up the folder that it put the screenshot in. So that's a thing. And while I appreciate knowing that my screenshot was taken, I'd like it not to open up a screenshot folder every time I'm taking one. Of course, we're back in our little base. And luckily for little things that glow, we can find our way back. Let's go ahead and go to sleep. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put that stuff away. And actually, I don't even think I have to show you my my first first uh, place now because it's starting to look pretty much ex exactly like this one. I mean, I love the looks of the game. Um, I'm enjoying, really enjoying exploring. I'm really going to enjoy exploring more once I figure out gliding. And you do get recipes for sales. And of course, we already have the helm and rudder. 
So you can actually set up your island to, well, be a giant airship. See, go down. But yeah, you can see that I do have a tiny bit of trouble with that navigating with the glider. Now, you can boost by using the. Ah, where am I? Okay, you can boost using the mouse button. Let's go back out and try this again. No, I'm not... I don't think there's really anything on that island, is there? Not that I can see. I see a couple of trees. Maybe one, one or two stones. I don't think. I don't think there's anything worth going over there for. But let's go ahead and save. That way if we fall to our death, we can just start over right here. Ooh. Okay, we did fall to our death. That's good. What am I gathering? Oh, okay. So yeah, teeny tiny thing. Just find some tomatoes over here. Some little flowers. Like I said, I think the flowers must be some sort of. Uh, you have to be able to gather them for something. I will gather the tomatoes. So yeah, nothing really over this way. So shall we go ahead and go back? Back into our little cave. Go ahead and our tomato seeds in here. Go ahead and eat. And it looks like you can only eat twice before you're full. I guess that makes sense. So yeah, they have, well, I think they have a long way to go in the game, but for a start, it looks pretty good. Even if I'm uh, not going to be so great at the gliding portion. There's a lot to like about this game. And I'm sure there are going to be people that are going to love that mechanic. I think that's our initial look at a law. Let me know if you'd like me to do a second video. Maybe we'll take a look at a couple more islands, practice that lighting, maybe even get some recipes and start working on turning our island into an airship. But that's up to you. Leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think. 
And until next time, bye for now.